Welcome. My name is Shane Reed. I teach lawyers around the country, either in groups in their law firms or doing one-on-one -on -one consulting based on my award-winning litigation textbooks. And I love to share with them tips from actual trials. And so we're going to look at another one uh, today from Courtroom View Network. It is the best place to see great lawyers in action and learn from them. Um, this trial is from 2013. We're going to look at the closing argument, and I want to teach you how to empower a jury. And one of the great plaintiff's lawyers, uh, Brian Panish, we're going to see him in action and see how he does it. Let me give you a little context for this case. Uh, his plaintiff had a hip implant from Depew, which was a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson. And this hip implant... Uh, the ball and socket would rub against each other and would cause toxic effects in the body. And so there were damages and the plaintiff won $8 million in this case, not in small part due to the fact of Brian Panish's fantastic closing argument. We're just gonna look at about a 90 second clip. And I want you to focus on how well he empowers the jury to make them feel important by why their verdict matters. And when you can empower the jury, whether you're on the plaintiff or the defense side, you go a long way towards winning your case because you make them realize how important this moment is. So let's look at the clip and then we'll talk about it. Also, I want to thank you. I mean, everyone's been here every day. It's been a long journey. Lawyers probably ask too many questions, but you've been here, you've been attentive. You paid attention. And sitting on a jury, Abraham Lincoln said it is the greatest act of citizenship one can engage in. And you all come here with different views. You have over 400 years of life experience. And you all see things from different angles. And together you become one. You become the conscience of this community. And you think back when we started this trial, there were 70 some jurors. And you are the ones that have been chosen to decide this case. And this will be your decision as how this community judges this case and these acts of this defendant, Depew. And is this acceptable in our community? And you will set the standard as to what will occur here. And you know, the jury system goes back to the Magna Carta. And if you look on the fourth floor, when you come into the court, you'll see some things and it refers to the Magna Carta. And back in England, the way the cases would be decided is the king would go around and would hear the evidence and make a decision. And the people thought, you know, that's not really fair. We're the ones that this affects and we're the ones that want to decide. So then they gathered the community together. They heard the evidence and the community decided. After the years and the elements, it moved from the courtyard into the courtroom and here we are today. Wow, Brian does a lot in a short period of time, and he does it so effectively. I just love this clip. He sincerely thanks the jury, so you see his authenticity. And then he brings in Abraham Lincoln to tell them what a great service they're doing. So now he's quoting a famous president and empowering them through that quotation. And then he takes them from Abraham Lincoln back to the Magna Carta and what's written on the courthouse. So this isn't just some other trial. This jury is in part of a long tradition dating all the way back to the Magna Carta. And I loved how you used the phrase that before the Magna Carta, it was in courtyards. And after the Magna Carta, truth and justice was decided in the courthouse. And this is right where the jury is there today. And then he adds on to that, that it's not just a decision for this plaintiff. It's for the jury as a community to set the standard in the community. So with that, he cited Abraham Lincoln, the community standards, quotations in the courthouse, and the Magna Carta. And this jury can't but help feel empowered that this is an important event. And when jury thinks it's important, they're gonna pay a lot more attention to the evidence and the arguments. And if you can do that, you can get a verdict that reflects the facts in your case.
I hope you enjoyed this clip. I look forward to seeing you next time when I can share with you more trial tips. See you next time.